Hey, it's just me today. I thought I'd talk about systems theory today. What do you say? What do you say? This is the podcast called Psychology in Seattle. I'm your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a professor and a licensed therapist. If you like us, please go to go to our website and donate. A few of you have responded to that, which is always pleasant and appreciated. You can review us on iTunes. That kind of helps us with our iTunes ratings. And you can email us at contact at psychologyinseattle.com or you can go to our website, psychologyinseattle.com and fill out the form to send us a message. Also, you can like us on Facebook if you want to participate in our weekly Tuesday Tough or Bluff games. I thought I would just yammer at you about a few things that were on my mind today. For instance, I want to talk about systemic thinking And some people are very aware of what systemic thinking is and systems theory, and some people are not. It's a very complex theory, and I often describe it to my students and supervisees as a paradigm shift. That's a cliched statement, but it really took a long time for me to become accustomed to it. And it had to be explained to me multiple different ways by multiple different people. And I had to read about it in multiple different places. And I had to try it out in various different applications. And over the span of the last 20 years, I feel like I sort of understand it. So I'm not going to be able to explain it fully in this venue, but let me try. So there is a dichotomy sometimes discussed between linear and systemic. So there's linear thinking and linear explanations and systemic explanations. Hey, deserving listeners, this is an old episode that we have re-released as a patron exclusive episode. So if you want to hear the full episode, you have to become a patron of the podcast by going to patreon.com. 